Marital advice is in the Quran versus we are going to be finding in the Bible here as it is written in Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 30, 22 to 33. Let's start with the Quran. First thing in the Quran, what do we find? Chapter 2 verse 230, the part in red. So this is the scenario where there is a problem in the marriage and then the husband has definitely to divorce. First thing we find in the in the Quran, you have the permission to divorce. If your husband divorces his wife, so the Quran is telling people that if you divorce, this is what is going to happen. They have the right to divorce. In the Bible, there is no right to divorce. There is physical separation in different houses in case he has to do with, with knives, with poisoning, all these stuff. And then they can no longer bear to be in the same house. Separation in houses, arrange problems, come back immediately. In the Bible, remarrying, some remarrying, it's all about marry your own person. If you don't want to be in adultery the whole the rest of your life, you have to marry the same person you married in the beginning. So you cannot change husband according to the Bible. In the Bible, there is no divorce. In the Bible, there is no polygamy. It's only one wife, one husband. That is what it is in the Bible. So if a man has a double, has two wives, is a, if a so-called Christian has two wives, then he is practicing adultery with a second wife. He is going to die in sins because of the second wife. He is practicing adultery. It's like you are cheating on your wife every time you are sleeping with the second wife. Meanwhile, in the Quran, you have the right to go up to even four wives and Muhammad up to 13 wives. So let's continue. So this is the kind of advice Allah is giving in the Quran here. If a husband, if a husband divorces his wife, he cannot after that remarry her. Meanwhile, in the Bible, is the only way he has to do. He cannot after that remarry her until she has married another husband. Another husband. And he has divorced her. It means she's already facing double marriages immediately because of one divorce. Double marriages, double divorce. Two divorces already. Until he has divorced her. In that case, there is no, sorry, there's no blame on either of them to, re to reunite provided they feel that they can Keep up the limits ordained by Allah. So, this is a problem. A husband and his wife, they are having problems. Allah is telling the husband that if you divorce your wife, she cannot marry you directly. She first of all has to go and find a new boyfriend, start a new relationship, engage into a marriage, marriage, go and pay bride price. All what has to do, go and pay buy bride, uh, the bride price, which is called, uh, I don't know the, 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 the other name for it. Go and see the traditional wedding, go and see the families, give them gifts, all know all the in-laws all that stuff and then the husband and the wife go have to go in the home in the new house go and have intimacy once they finish having intimacy because in the hadith it says he has to taste her juice and she has to taste his juice and then once they finish having that intimacy what next they can now divorce again make enemies with all the other family members everybody has to become again separated all world was just united a few hours ago, a few months ago, separation before she can now come back to her husband and remarry her husband to be the to go back to her first love. That is what is actually found in this in this particular passage. Let's now go to the Bible. According to what is written in the Bible, we have two places. Look at the kind of advices uh, Jesus Christ is actually giving to people here in uh, Ephesians chapter two, Ephesians chapter five, the book of Ephesians chapter five. So we have. Wives, submit yourself to your own husband as you do to the Lord. Look at how a wife is supposed to submit. She's supposed to submit herself to her husband as she submits to the Lord. For as your own husband, as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now, as a church submits to Christ, also wives should submit to their husband in everything. Secondly, look at the kind of advice they're giving to men. Husbands, you have to love your wives as just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Look, Christ died on the cross for the church. The church is the true body, all the, the Christians. That is the church. That's what is meant according to this verse. To make her holy and cleanse her to wash with the water through the word 
and to present her okay husband love your wife just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleansing by her by the word by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant as a radiant church without stain and wrinkle or any other blemish to uh, to but holy and blameless. Verse 28, in the same way, husbands ought to love their wife as their own bodies. Husbands are ought to love their wives as their own bodies. Sorry, as their own bodies. He love he who loves his wife loves himself. So you can read the part. The next part here is just short. So the Bible is very clear about how a husband is supposed to love his wife. The Bible is very clear about how a wife is supposed to submit herself to the husband. So in a marital scenario, according to the Bible, the husband is supposed to love the wife and die for his wife. In And then there is no divorce according to the Bible. And then if there is any form of separation or even if they go back to the point of like the divorce because of they decided not to obey what is written in the Bible, they have to remarry only the two of them again. Because if anybody, according to Romans chapter 1, if if anybody tries to, uh, Romans chapter 3, if anybody tries to divorce, to go and marry another person, he is committing adultery with the, with the other person. So give your life to Christ. If you are in a such marital scenario, according to Islam, Please, I beg you, you are in the wrong place. Get away from that relationship. Get away from that relationship. Get away from Islam. Because this is the kind of false God giving you this kind of false ideas. Encouraging that you have to go and marry a second person. Meanwhile, you already have a lot of children with that first person. What if when you go and marry this person, you automatically get again children? The problem gets worse even because you are in a new marriage. You got there just because you wanted to find yourself to divorce again and go back to your first marriage but at the end of the day you find yourself tormented because you have two families now a family with that other person because you never even loved this person you just married because you wanted to go back to your husband surrender yourself to jesus christ this is satanic and there is no way even a muslim will not tell me this is holy this is satanic give yourself to christ repent of your sins and surrender to jesus